So here's a practice SAT problem. This one's kind of tricky. Um, story problem here, and it's dealing with uh, percentages, but in a weird sort of way. So it's saying that someone bought a laptop co top computer at a store that gave them a 20% discount off the original price. The total amount she paid to the cashier was P dollars, including an 8% sales tax on that discounted price. Which of the following represents the original price of the computer in terms of P? So keep in mind what P is. P is the amount that she had to pay the cashier. So that's the sale price plus the tax on that sales price. So what you've probably done a decent amount of in the past is turned percentages into decimals. Anytime you've dealt with percentages in, in math, you've, you've dealt with decimals. So you see decimals within these expressions that shouldn't surprise you at all. So what I did is I kind of defined a, a new variable for myself, X, which is going to be the original price of the computer. Uh, normally, what you're trying to find is you're trying to figure out what the sale price plus the tax is. In this case, the sale price plus the tax is P. And what we're trying to determine is we're trying to determine the original price, which is why I define that as a variable. So let me fill you in on where I got this expression from. So this expression right here, the, the P is equal to what you see on the other side of this equation. I knew that I was going to take 20% off the original price. So the sale price was 80% of the original price. So I paid 0.8, right, the decimal version of 80% times the original price. This was the sale price, but then I paid tax on top of that. So the amount of tax that I paid was, was 8%. So I, if I multiply this by 0.08, that's going to take my, my value of this expression down significantly. So I don't want to multiply this, which is the cost without tax of the computer after the discount, I want to multiply it by 108%, right? I'm paying 100% of this plus an additional 8%. So how are we going to use this to determine what X equals? Because that's really what we're asked to do, right? Which of the following represents the original price of the computer in terms of P? Well, I grouped these to kind of show, you know, this is the sale price without tax. And then this times 1.08 is going to be what lumps the tax onto that bill. But everything's multiplied together here. So it doesn't matter what order I multiply these three values together in, 0.8, x, and 1.08. If I wanted to solve this for x, all I would do is I would divide p by 0.8 and by 1.08. And if you look at option D, that's exactly what we see. So definitely kind of weird, pretty tricky. Hopefully this discussion has helped.